Okay, so here is an update on the access control for the air bearing lathe. I have upgraded the drive systems to use servo motors and we just got the driver in today. I got a servo driver from Gecko Drive over here uh, and I'm just getting everything hooked together and testing it out but already super impressed by this. So previously I had gotten these quote-unquote closed loop stepper motors which are stepper motors with encoders in them and really it's less of closed loop more of error detection so it wasn't they don't use the encoders to actively servo the motor it's more so just to detect if it uh, goes out of a certain tolerance and loses a certain amount of steps um, but even if it was closed loop you still have the inherent issue of stepper motors and that they cog so they tend to snap to you know their 1.8 degree indexes and micro stepping is made difficult because of their tendency to do that so what the new system is here is this is just a brushed dc motor um, with a nema 2.4 mount um, off of an old cnc router the key though is this these are some old surplus encoders that we got out of a robot arm. 12,000 counts per revolution. And we've got that hooked up to the Gecko Drive here. So this is all rigidly coupled together, as you can see. But now I will demonstrate the PID control loop. So if I lift this up, I can turn the encoder freely like this is not going to transmit enough torque through the bearings in order to drive this entire shaft but if I turn on the driver all of a sudden you see that me turning this by hand is locked one-to-one -one with the entire shaft and this is no sort of mechanical clutch or anything this is literally just the control loop servoing the lead screw to match wherever I decide to put this encoder. Just like that. I can turn it back off. And now this rotates freely again. So this is really awesome. I mean, I haven't even tuned it that much and it already works, works great. Um, so I'll hook it up to the Maso next and see if I can start getting this to actually rotate uh, via a, a control. Um, but with this system, 12,000 counts per rev should be in theory with a 20 TPI lead screw, 40 million or four micro inches resolution on the axis. So that is really impressive and I will make another update as soon as I get this fully assembled on the axis and, and we can see what sort of resolutions we can, we can pull out of it. But super promising stuff so far. Okay, got the gecko drive, the encoder hooked up on the vertical slide here. I have it vertical just to Make sure there's no backlash. And again, I'm just rotating the encoder by hand. Got the middle mess on here. And I am able to split 20 millionths decently well. That humming there is just from it being a little too aggressive on the gain, but as you can see, literally zero backlash and still crazy, crazy, crazy re resolution. So, this is, I'm pretty happy with this.